I'm The Voice, and this is a Divi community-produced video from the Foundation, Partner Updates with Siege Worlds. Today I've got Rob, I've got Neegs, I've got Jake, and I've also got Jeff. How's it going, guys? It's great to be right. here, as always. We're very excited about the game, so it's fun to talk about it right now. We also just made a bunch of cool decisions just this morning that, that um, so we can kind of tell people oh, a little bit it. more about what's going to be coming in the next few months that sounds good that's nice the second time we have jeff uh in two weeks and then i think it's the first time we have jake um and so. you got an avatar <laughs> yeah sorry sorry jeff sorry it's not it's not again <laughs> but we feel less weird now that well, was, we had yeah. some that was we a had passive some, dig we had some no, comments i wasn't <laughs> <laughs> we had some comments who really who said that they really enjoyed how good jeff's avatar was <laughs> that's <laughs> right that's right <laughs> <laughs> maybe we can start by talking about the game right like talking yeah. about because i think not everybody uh yet is familiar with it so maybe like he started as a hard game right like you you kill opponents like hordes of opponents that are coming and you get you earn dv and you loot you loot weapons and then you can forge them and now you added a lot more things so maybe you can talk about that jake that'd be good yeah sure so i think you've got like the core mechanics of the game right um and what we're trying to do like a lot of the recent updates have been really about making the game just more pleasant to deal with because it's obviously like a indie game with quite a small budget. So, um, you know, we just wanted to ensure that when people download the game and experience it for the first time, that that first experience that they've got is fun and they're not kind of, you know, within the first minute, like five minutes experiencing some problems and then leaving the game because we know once we lose people in that way, they'll probably never come back to us. And then we've also been thinking more about like the long-term gameplay. A lot of people have been playing for a long time now. Our top players killed 400,000 monsters in the game. And he's wow. played for, I can actually find out how many hours he's played, but I think it's probably a hundred hours or more. Um, Wait, is that uh, you? It's <laughs> Gandalf Skywalker. It's Gandalf. Oh my god, it is? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we all know yeah. who it is. Yeah. Wow, he's, dude. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, he's got 750 hours of gameplay. It's, wow. Out of 100. Yeah. So, yeah, so for people like that, we just want to add more variety to what you can actually do in the game so we've been experimenting with kind of more casual styles of of gameplay so going into big battlefields and fighting monsters is fun but it's also pretty intense and you've got to concentrate for that time to play you can't can't relax and have a beer while while you're doing that so we've been adding things like skilling so you can get a pickaxe and start mining. And um, the idea for that skill is you'll be able to mine rocks and then you can kind of use that ore that you've mined to help you forge weapons faster. Um, but yeah, that's kind of one theme we're branching into is expanding into different areas of content other than just combat-based gameplay. So that's I can nice. I yeah. break things and build my own tools now? <laughs> yeah so it's awesome um yeah that's nice and so when you forge yes. so do you get always the higher the higher tier or like is it like a chance thing or you can get like more power so how how does the mechanic work on in that direction so if you've got four of the same weapon then you can forge that you so if you've got four level one weapons you can forge that as long as they're the same weapon and you'll always get a tier two weapon and then to go to tier three you would need four tier 
two weapons. Nice. You were mentioning to me that you have also a marketplace where then they can exchange those those weapons if they are valuable and all that. So I think that's also a great thing. So maybe you can give us some insight about how it works. Yeah, I think this yeah. is one of like the really important parts of the game. And one of the things that really has a lot of potential for Divi. Um, so currently I've been working on some stats for the game and we've got around 50 accounts, like 50 active users that are playing per month. Um, but our daily exchange volume that's being spent in the game today was 32,000 Divi. So nice. if we 100x our numbers through the marketing that we're doing, um, which is a kind of in progress now, um, that means that that would be 3 million Divi being traded yeah. per day potentially. So it's a lot of Divi that people would be spending. And basically the way it works is you kill monsters in the game and they drop weapons and you constant, because of the forging mechanic, you constantly, you know, want to accumulate lots of the same weapons so you can forge it and upgrade it. And one of the ways to kind of cheat or not cheat, but, you know, accelerate your progress is to just buy those weapons off of a player. So, um, even when I play the game myself and when Jeff plays, we don't cheat as out, like cheat as in spawn items, like we play the game properly. And I find that say if I've got three of an item and I need one more to forge, sometimes I just go onto the exchange and, and buy that item so I can forge because it's, it's really fun. And then you get that more powerful weapon so you can kill monsters faster and progress quicker through the game. So, so do I, I understand it correctly that those other weapons are supplied by other users? Is that how that works? Yeah. So unlike games like Fortnite or, or a lot of modern games use microtransactions where they sure. just sell all these things directly to players and it's great for the company because they make all this revenue, but it doesn't really it it doesn't really reward the community. Like no. they're not getting anything for the effort and money they put into the game. So our model is very different where we want all of these things to be created within the game ecosystem. So everything is pretty much earned through gameplay and then you can you're the one that gets a chance to trade those things with other people is, is the exchange like a store or more like an auction um price is fixed or do they change based on what people have like it's a bit have? like using a exchange for cryptocurrency you or like open sea you can choose an item you want to sell and select a price you want to sell you list it at that price and then other people can see what's listed on the store and choose to buy it got it yeah and also some people just make money purely by buying things cheap when they come up for sale and then selling them at a higher price my brother actually plays this game and um well there's one weapon that I, I'm collecting on my account, which is a plasma shotgun. Um, I probably shouldn't say this because now everyone will buy it and make the price super high. But, you probably shouldn't. Um, <laughs> this funny. morning, out of the like, bag. sorry. <laughs> this morning, someone was selling ten of them for ninety divi each. And my brother brought all of them and then relisted them for like I think five hundred divi each. Wow. And, um, <laughs> and yeah, he, he sold all of those. And it's cool because like for me, I'm always excited because I have a, like a favorite weapon and then I always go on and um, there's these people that are just playing all the time now and they're selling this stuff and we know that's going to grow huge. You know, in fact, I'm very concerned about like just sort of like a vertical list when there's a lot of people doing this, it's just going to be 
way too much to go through. So we're going to have to rebuild the whole thing. So people have their own store of what they're selling and it's going to be like a whole thing. But right now it's, it works for what yeah. it is. We're definitely planning to revamp the exchange in the game to improve the, just the way you can search for items and find things you want. Maybe we'll have, rather than just a search function, we'll have like a drop down. So you can see all the items, select one, and then yeah. it will order the prices from low to high. And you can maybe filter by tier as well. So you pick, say, a shotgun and then tier six, and then it shows all of those and the cheapest ones are at the top. I understand that now you're adding also quests um, in, in the game. So it kind of like pushes people to kind of do those things and uh, mining. Can you craft um, weapons with the mining that you have or what is the capabilities that it brings? Yeah, so to touch on the first point, you mentioned quests and what we want to do is just kind of get people playing the game every day. Um, so I think a lot of games do this now, especially mobile games, they give you like a small task to do each day and you get like a reward, kind of a big reward in comparison to other ways you earn in the game, but doing something quite small. So we're keen to do that. So we're going to add daily tasks that you can do. There'll be like an easy task you'll get and a difficult task every day. And if you if you um, complete those, you'll get some reward keys. And those allow you to open a chest that gives you a random prize. So it could be a rare weapon. We've got like a rocket launcher, which like you can fire it at the ground and it, it does damage in like a area. So it's really good for killing large waves of monsters. We've got a prize of 10,000 divi you can win. And there's also another exclusive weapon. So I think that's something really exciting that people will enjoy. And um, yeah, with the mining, um, how that works is, so when you're forging weapons, you need four of the same kind of weapon, but with mining, you'll be able to mine or there's, different tiers of ore that you can mine and if if you say want to forge a level three weapon you'd need normally four level two items but mm -hmm. the idea is you can replace one of those items with some of the ore you've mined at level two so oh, nice. it will probably be a hundred cool. or fifty ore that you'd have to mine to replace a, a weapon that's great. So it really, you have a really thought through mechanic that pushes people to kind of ground and get, get more weapons, sell them. So it is really great. I think it's really yeah, uh, yeah. insane improvements in the game. And one of the great things about this game is I feel like it's a very social game. We've got like a lobby area. So a lot of games have like menu screens for this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Like where you log into a game, you've got a menu screen and then you select play. But we made it different where like you log in, you're instantly in the game and you're in like a lobby area that's social where you can chat to people. So um, I feel like things like this mining skill allows people to kind of play in an environment where it's more social so they can chat to people and that's meet nice. new people. And then maybe they can form teams and play the the team version like team waves in the game and, and stuff like that where can you get the game can you just say where can you get the game yeah where siege can you world download it yes yeah, siegeworlds.com yeah. but i can give you some examples of what tasks yeah might go ahead be. sure so i think um easy ones might just be to kill like 100 or one type of monster. So we've got like demons in the game. So it could be to kill hundred demons, but the difficult ones, basically, if you shoot a monster, like right between the eyes, then you get like a special message and you get more points for that shot. And it's called a bullseye. And so that's 
like really hard to get. You've got to be quite skilled to do that. So one of the difficult tasks could be to get five bullseye shots in a row. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I'll leave yeah, that. I really like have... the I really like the bullseye mechanic because like most game a lot of games have the headshot right, which is fun. But we added this bullseye, which is like even smaller, and for good players, like they can probably get a lot. You know, a lot of those. So. So it yeah. sounds like getting five and zero would be really difficult, though. I actually you have didn't to give know that a lot for that. had this. Maybe do three in a row. <laughs> <laughs> do you have data on the percentage of bullseye? Like, can player get access to those things? Can they see if they have like twenty percent of bullseye or whatever uh, the the number of monsters they kill per day or per hour? Like, do you have data like that? Yeah, we. If, if you actually go to the high scores. Um, web page on c12s.com you can see some data about each player so for example now I'm on Gandalf Skywalker's um, page I can see that he's got 747 hours played his mm. biggest head headshot streak uh, is 246 oh my god <laughs> wow <laughs> I've got no what? idea how he's done <laughs> That is crazy. And so this is a desktop game, right? It's it's on your PC, but then also you plan to have it on, on a web version, right? Yeah, that's correct. So um, I think we're definitely getting the best experience for users when they download the game. But we realize that like a lot of new people that maybe they're not a part of the Divi community. They might mm -hmm. see this game and not feel safe to download something or they they just might not want to. So I think having a web, like a browser version is important, but right. so we Did plan to release that game? soon. Oh, or just a demo or something in, a, in the browser. I think we're going to do very close to the full game, um, but we're planning to add more maps to the game now so we might not include those maps into the webgl version and the reason for that is generally to run a game in a browser you want a very small size so <clears throat> for our webgl version we've optimized it to 150 megabytes hmm. and just for like reference something like call of duty warzone is about 150 gigabytes yeah so right <laughs> it's like an insane difference exactly um, yeah yeah impressive even a lot of the blockchain games that are popular they're like 30 to 40 gigabytes in size it's insane like how big these games are to download um, wow. so yeah we've really optimized it and it still looks really good in the browser but obviously it just will not run as quick as native code like when you download right. the game you'll sure, get makes sense. much better performance that's right and so also um so you would have and i think maybe uh it's you jeff who is talking about that but then there is also the token side there is an idea to start a whole token yeah so the idea about the horde token is you know we want to build a whole ecosystem of games that use our horde tech engine is what we call it where we have an engine and, and sort of a game theory specialized to very large hordes of monsters which nobody else does and so and that's what makes us sort of set apart from other games and people that have played a lot of people played you know first person shooter games for years so when they come and play our game it's something new and it's something different and it's fun right away and it makes for you know fps games fun again for them and so we um, want to focus on that, using that engine. So the idea was to call it the Horde token, although we may end up changing it later. And of course, these kind of things are really good for funding a game because people come and they'll buy it. You, know, you sell it as a utility token, you give it various utility. And um, so, you know, you, the main, the best way to give it utility is to have it, you know, part of the, the marketplace and also to have it st a, stake, a staking type of thing, where if you own a certain amount of it, then you get 
maybe something free or you get better this or you better that depending on how much you stake so and then with the ideas that it doesn't work very well i think if it's just a single game but if you're building an ecosystem of different games and we have lots of ideas you know each game can be part of one of the story the stories with the comic we're doing or or there's some other ideas or, or it can be in reverse like jake has some ideas for some games and so we start with those ideas we start with the game first and then we have the um <clears throat> we have the comic story that kind of adds to it um, rather than the reverse the whole thing is it's really interesting because you know blockchain and bitcoin started early on with this you know brock pierce got his start in bitcoin because he was he had a business where he had hired four hundred thousand people to just go and mine worlds of warcraft and it was illegal for them to you know to sell stuff outside of the marketplace but people were willing to pay cash for this stuff and so he had this sort of cat and mouse game where they were selling them on Etsy, selling them here, selling them there. And it was big enough that they had 400,000 people doing this. And so he wanted to use Bitcoin early on, like 2010, to um, pay all these people around the world and not have to deal with credit card companies for 400,000 people in countries like China, you know, mainland China were doing this. And so because of that, that didn't work. So they, he created Tether along with bunch of people to solve a problem because Bitcoin was fluctuating and and so they created Tether, they needed a stable coin. So it's you know, Web3 has a long history of games and people sort of grinding to get stuff to sell to other players. This has been well known and very well documented, very large business. And so I and I think that we're basically the first company that's really found a way to do this in the right way. And um and Divi gets to be part of it. So Hopefully it'll take off really big and, and I, we hope to get a lot of support from the Divi community because it's more likely to succeed and help pull up Divi with it if we have more of the community excited about it. We've got, you know, Divi's got su such a great, passionate community of people that have known each other now for years and years. So mm -hmm. having that as a base of a community for this game and will be really, really valuable. And um, so if you're watching this and you haven't played games before, it really is a fun game. We have a lot of people playing. It's like the only game, only game they play because it's they find it really fun. And, and I'm not very good at it. You don't have to be great. We have easier waves, and we're going to have much harder waves too as we grow it. Yeah, I just want to touch wave. again, like the last point about how how big. Well, the companies that Brock Pierce had was really interesting, and I think it's one of the most important parts is like I was one of those people as a child that would play these games and spend all of my money mm. on these currencies and other games so I really understand it and that's like why I've designed the economy and in Siege Worlds like how it is but I feel like there's so many games in Web3 that just don't do this so they're kind of doing like the Fortnite way of like oh, we'll just mint out like collections of NFTs and mm -hmm. they make all, all kinds of promises to be like, this is going to be valuable or, you know, this is going to 10x, 100x or whatever. But then they just sell out those collections and for, you know, it's great for those companies, but once they're sold out, they just move on to the next collection and, and try and sell that. And eventually everything goes to zero and there's no liquidity. Yeah. Whereas Sorry, I, think I, think like... it's import... I think it's important you mentioned that because a lot of those crypto games are just an excuse to make a crypto coin. While for you, the game has always been at the center, right? You started this yeah. game already a couple of years ago and, and it is here, it is being used, like people are playing it and then you bring updates. So it, it's really... I think it's really unique enough or rare enough in the in the crypto games and and it is improving it is getting better and that, that's really something that's solid i believe you were also uh, recently in the uh, what was it the play i think a website where you just got listed and you really ended up in the in the top yeah. in, in the top list play to earn no, that's time. right that's play right to earn, right right so it is, it is very interesting. So I really encourage everyone to, to test yeah. it. Like, and they did it, you know, they did it. A, they did a tweet yesterday and said we were the number one game on their website last week for searches. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Nice. And nice. um and they tweeted yeah. it out. We were very surprised. Jake sent it to me. And so everyone go to playtoearn.com, search for Siege Worlds <laughs> and right. pay for it, our game or wish list it or whatever the the button says. But that will help us a lot because we got to the front page and we were ranked 29, I think. And that brought some players into our Discord and some nice. some people playing our game. I think if we can get to the top 10 on play to own, which shouldn't be that difficult, then we'd be like within that that part where as soon as you go to the website, our game will be visible. That should get us a lot more people. So if anyone wants to help, that's the best way to do it right that's now. That's great. We'll put the link to yeah. That's That's a good thing. Our logo is very iconic too. So people, it's really popped out and people... We'll remember it that's so. nice yeah it's very unique and uh, i mean yeah i do like it myself but it, it's really like you kind of remember it you don't you don't forget about it so that's really that's really great and i, I also understand that you you also have a new dev helping you to move the project forward mm -hmm. yeah we've hired someone in ukraine who's been helping us um He's really good with like visual things. So um, he designed like all of the mining rocks in the game. And he's currently working on all the weapons to give each tier like a different color. So you'll be able to tell if you've got like a level seven shotgun, it will look different to a level two. So nice. we're adding just lots of nice visual upgrade upgrades to the game. Yeah, that's, that's cool. very important. You re people really like to flex, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, um, people want it. You want to, you want a situation where you're in a group play and you're like, oh, that person over there has got you know a level seven weapon or level six, and you feel jealous, right? So then you want to get one yourself, and so you play more, right? And <laughs> yeah. this kind of thing, people have bragging rights and and this kind of thing, and, and it helps. And it's cool because it's a player driven economy, so it's the players that benefit from this, not the company. We get, we're get, we do get a commission, but I don't expect to have a tremendous amount of money coming from that. I'm hoping more that people, are, you know, we're getting $10 at a time for these story portals that help people with the forging and, and a lot of other things. And it, it becomes very popular to, to do that. And I like it. And I love it that people can play for free and they don't have to spend any, a dime, right? They can just earn, come and earn money if they want, but if they're passionate about the game, they can do better if they start if they spark they spend money and yeah. i think that's a really great sort of honest way to run a game or, or a company where you're giving away something for free and allowing people to try and test and see if they like it before they have to invest you know fifty dollars in a game or whatever to, just to find Me too. out i like how it doesn't your time doesn't run out and then you got to pay you just got to pay for the things that you like that's a that's a much better it's a much fairer yeah. system, I think. That's actually a really good point you mentioned, though, is like you see things like for a dollar and you purchase them. I'm yeah. guessing like what one of the things I attribute to the, like the success of mobile gaming is just how frictionless it is to pay yeah. for things in exactly. the game. Like you don't have to get your credit card out and like type in all the numbers. And I find personally, I don't know about you guys, but like, when I go to a restaurant and pay like, and I just tap my card and do contact contactless payments, like yeah. it doesn't matter the amount if it's like a hundred dollars, like exactly. I don't feel like that hurts me when I spend that. But if I need to go to like amazon.com and type in all those numbers, even if it's like $2, <laughs> I just hate doing it. Yeah. You second guess um, it, you're like, this totally. is too expensive. Yeah, uh, yeah I think yeah. that's the like, click one of the things we want to improve on siege worlds and, and with divi is we need a way to really make it easy for people to get divi and get it into the game in in a way that they can spend it because mm -hmm. currently you earn rewards in the game but you can't it's it's quite difficult to go and buy divi and then like bring it into the game so right. um we're also working on like some ways to to make that easier I, I guess jeff might be the best person to explain a bit more about that yeah well you know we have the, the best thing that we can do with that is just 
use Divi, use um, our GoBank money transmitters license company and basically make all that all those transactions happen. So that way people can pay with any crypto. And as long as we have a pool of Divi and a pool of that coin, people can swap in and out. Mm. And everything happens in the game on the database when somebody wants to swap back out, they can through GoBank. And that makes it really easy. Okay. Well, that's clear. Um, so what are we missing in the in the topics? I think there is the grant. Do you want to talk about the grant, the Alien Words grant with the Starblind, Starblind wave, the new Starblind wave? Yeah, maybe Jake can like, Jake can talk a little bit about it since I don't really know like what part is finished, what part isn't. But yeah, I can, I'll say that there's you know we have a grant of three parts. It's a thirty thousand dollar grant to make a a game wave. And it uses they want us to use wax and you get a benefit if you have one of the alien world shovels so we basically had to build all of this into did we go or we can we have an api that that james made that that jay can look at to see whether somebody owns a shovel and if they do they're going to get more coin drops if they play the game and of course now we've added mining since then and and that really what should have been part of the grant so once we get that going i'll go back to them and say hey for an extra 10 grand we'll add mining you know that uses some of the <laughs> mining tools something like that right so um and now because now we've already made it easy right to do that but so but that makes benefit and it creates a new use case for their humongous nft set alien worlds actually has the biggest nft set in the world and it's very it's very interesting um but maybe jake you can talk a little bit about the actual where we're at with the actual building of it yeah I think it's really exciting because one of the things we want to do with Siege Worlds is just build like more maps and more like variety of waves and monsters and just more content that's exciting and fun to play. And we spoke with Alien Worlds and they were on board with, well, Jeff has already built comics with them and started to build a lure and storyline around um alien world so it's great that well for me i i love the story of the comic and um I, i'm just really excited to put some of that stuff into the game so essentially what the grant gives us or like what will deliver for the grant is a whole new map with a set of monsters and characters that are all unique um that people can play and um yeah it's just a really win-win <laughs> relationship for both of us because we're developing new content that's kind of helping to expand alien worlds and hopefully their community which is quite large will be excited and they'll come and try our game as well and it'll help us grow um that's awesome. in terms of where we are with it i think we've done a lot of the things for the grant it's in three stages, like three milestones. And we've like, we're like 90% of the way there, but on all three milestones, which is a bad way to do things because we'll, we'll probably be able to do all three really quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll initially at first one is to get wax and, um, connect the cloud wallet for wax to the game mm -hmm. so that's been a bit of uh, we're integrating that with divi go so it requires some um collaboration with that team so we're still working on that stage but all of the other things like the character models and monsters have been developed and we're beginning to develop the map um models so We've just got to design the layout of the map and put that into the game. But we're very close yep. to having all this done. You mentioned a few times, but I think it wasn't very clear. But behind that is is Divigo Wallet, right? That that's how basically uh, you you handle those coins, and then it's also related to your Lightning Works comics. Like all of that is basically there. There is a connection between all of that, and it's really interesting to see that. Um, it, it is really well thought through to try to get people interested and try to get them to participate. And 
I think I think it's really going great. Um, we, you started. I think I can't remember exactly when it was two or three years ago, and then you had like a lot Four. of TV <laughs> users. Yeah, more. Four years ago, I think. Yeah. Four years yeah. ago, it's, you had a lot of TV users that were very interested. I remember the feedback already was great, and the fact that now you bring more things and you're still here. I'm sure like some people kind of disconnected. So I think it's really great to have you and be able to talk about all those things and all the good things coming to Siege World. Yeah. Yeah, we've really stuck through it. Jake has been, uh, has been uh, sometimes I think about ready to give up, but I've always convinced him to keep going. It's just the next good things are around the corner, but now we're really seeing that happen. I'm, I'm glad he stuck with it. It helped a lot when we found this new guy. Ivan, because now we're able to go a lot faster, and um, and it's not all just on a single person's back to code everything, and so that's been and really energizing to both of us. And it's really, for me, and I think for Jake too, it's been really energizing just to have all these people from the Divi community all playing now again. I mean, I, I, there's never a time I, I go in there and there isn't somebody from the Divi community now in there playing. Yeah. It's like 24/7. It seems like, and that's just going to grow, right? Just for anyone that doesn't know, um, if you do play the game, um, all you need to do is log into the game. Your uh, QR code will pop up. You just scan that QR code and it will instantly make a, a wallet for you for the game and connect it That's to your awesome. account. So as soon as then you can go and kill monsters and any drops that you get, the Divi drops, they'll just go straight to your wallet. So it's really like super simple for anyone to play the game and start earning Divi. Yeah. Nice. I also want to mention we we're, were supposed to talk about doing a uh, competition this weekend, right? So should we set a date right. and time? And, you know, we're, we'll, I guess we'll probably give away $200 worth of Divi, we can say. And, um, but Jake, I don't remember how exactly you did it. So maybe you can basically on the fly here, like kind of say what's how it's going to work. Is it going to be 24 hours or is it going to be over a specific two hours or try to get 20 or 30 people playing at once while shooting zombies together or what's going to happen? So we'll do it over the weekend, this weekend. What we'll do is quads game mode. So whatever team gets the highest score in quads, they'll win this prize. I want Gandalf on my team, Ryan too. <laughs> uh, Gandalf's on my yeah, team. They're not put oh, you on their team. on your problem. team. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I want to be on. Uh, I'd love to be on those teams, but I'd be just a terrible liability. So terrible liability. <laughs> uh, Seven hundred hours. Like I, I don't know if I'm ready <laughs> to, be, uh, to be at the level hours. of the team. <laughs> but can we get the commitment from the rest of you guys in the interview to come and play at least a little bit this week? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm in. Sure. I just sure. downloaded it. I was down. That's why I warbled a second when I was speaking. <laughs> it was because it's because I'm I'm using my hotspot here to download this. So what's fun about the competitions, though, is even though you know people still use it as an excuse to play. So people like during the competition, I was going and just playing solo or playing the zombie mood mode which is what you can have 20 people at once it's just sort of relaxing we should call it relaxation mood the zombie zombie hunting and um it's the only time a zombie uh, apocalypse has been relaxing yeah exactly yeah so it's fun to go in there actually but there's somebody that's really good because they just got to keep you alive for me and what? the thing is one of the things that i that i was surprised at though is that you only get the items and weapons if you killed the monster so people you can't snag each other's stuff so well, you get the first dips to pick it up you can see it for the first 30 seconds and then oh. after that everyone can see it for about okay. a like minute a good, uh, oh, interesting. oh good i didn't know that oh, that's a great oh. that's yeah. a great way to do it I but, that's a, that's um, a great compromise. if we made it instantly like available to everyone i think some people would just go and steal Rob, like, yeah. seal people's eyes. <laughs> well, that's what I was thinking is yeah. that, that would be kind of fun. You just take out the fastest character. From my experience, uh, like my brother plays this game, and I know that if that happened to him, like 
if someone just came and stole all his stuff, he would probably quit the game. <laughs> <laughs> so we what is the to, what um, is the creature on the game. website on the on the main page? There's that green thing. That uh, is there. Is that one of the zombies? Uh, green thing. Where? Sorry. It's it's. Oh, it's, it's like it's, that's a. That's the thing with the with the buzzing flies that like jumps at you. Okay, okay. <laughs> what's that called? What's that called? Oh, the, the uh, other monsters names. It's like a mutant monster. It's a mutant. Right, right. In the in the code, it's called mutant. The main thing yeah. is, is I think if anybody's watching this and you have kids, I don't, I don't remember any of this, and even this image here, it doesn't look scary. It doesn't look uh, much more than uh, like Minecrafty kind of stuff um where it is it's not gruesome is what i'm trying to say yeah it's not particularly gruesome i mean you, there is red blood uh, sure red and there is on minecraft and my, if you have my daughter was playing it like three years ago and she was pretty terrified of it at first and um would just run for the monsters but after a while she kind of got used to it and but and then, and then I would I would watch her play, and she died. I was like, "Are you afraid you died?" She's like, "No, Daddy, I'm just gonna come back alive again." <laughs> all <laughs> Very right, so I, you know. So. I will back up, and I will say, my kids are all older, so my glasses for looking at things may be different <laughs> if you have younger kids. So yeah. take a look at it yourself, download it, and try it yourself. So do you have a lot of story behind the, the game? Like are uh, the monsters coming from somewhere or is the player being a survivor or anything? Is there is there anything like that? And well, so, more than that, you so plan to do anything with yeah, the Lightning so, you know, Works we'll, on that? We'll, we'll be releasing Siege World's number one comic. And in the game, these wow. players, and you play the characters in the game, the characters wake up in the beach. They don't know where they are. And they and and the same elements that are in the game are in the comic as far as like a shanty town on the beach and then there's like a medieval town and uh, and some of this stuff happens. And so, Jake, we really we really need like a, a, um, a medium document that has all this kind of stuff that explains these kind of things so people can read through it and understand the rules. Yeah, definitely. So really, I encourage everyone to go to the Siege World website, download the Siege World game and do the competition uh, this weekend? Is it this weekend? That's what you say. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, weekend. so that'll be a good, a good opportunity to try it out, and we can't wait to have you all on the side chain. That'll be wonderful. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like that. That'll be yeah, really we'll awesome. Yeah, we'll need our own side chain. Yeah. We'll have our yeah. own side chain. Also, some point. issues. One of That's... these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, all chain. of this has to know. happen progressively, right? It's it's the way it works. We're not. Yeah. We're not rich, so it has to come step by step and then seek your founding, show some proof of progress so that we can actually, you know, get some credibility and move forward. I guess it's all it's all about that. Yeah, that's right. All right, guys, well, I have to go. So I'm looking forward to see everybody on the game this weekend and bring some friends, bring some, hope you guys can help hype it up and get everybody from all the different channels. Play this game. <laughs> my, you know, my my when my daughter played, like a lot of the neighborhood kids were over from Costa Rica and they were all playing too. They took turns and they were all asking about it. Like every time they saw me, can I play the game? I want to play the game. They, and they really liked it, you know? And um, they could play Roblox and other stuff. So, but they really liked this game. So it was really good to see that. And it's even better now, so. Nice, nice. Cool. Yeah, so that, and I guess make sure you join the Discord for Siege Worlds as well. Um, yeah. And if there's any problems or if you get stuck with anything, then that's where I'm most active to help out. That's cool. right. And you have yeah. a Twitter too. Uh, give him a follow. Yeah. That'll be that'll be nice. Yeah, uh, if you didn't yet. And um, yeah, we'll be happy to have you another time when you when you have new updates. Uh, the door is open. And I, I think that's it. Cool. Yeah, it's been really fun. Thank you. Yeah, and we should Thanks, we should Jay. also just have a we should have a scheduled divvy time to play and hang out and play together that would and be shoot great. zombies together. I mean, so maybe that sounds fun. maybe you guys can pick a pick a date and then a date and a time and then I'll make sure to be there. It just can't be like for me like five to eight in the afternoons Costa Rica time because I'm almost always busy then. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. It's we can even try eat. to organize that with the community <laughs> so that we can even do like some community events. That would be a nice thing. Yeah. Let's just remind everyone saying. the website is www.siege, S I E G E, worlds. That's with an S at the end, dot com. That's right. See you next time. Cool. See ya. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, -bye now. Yeah.